I am of the view that there must in this case be a discretionary life sentence, and that is the sentence I impose upon you. There will be a sentence of custody for life. The risks around you, albeit as a young man, are clear and concerning. The way in which you say some things to professionals and yet say the contrary to others means that there is, in my judgment, no clear picture of when those risks may abate. That position supports my decision as to dangerousness leading to custody for life. You have pleaded guilty. Your plea warrants a reduction in the sentence would otherwise have been passed. Having reflected on the submissions made this morning, the appropriate reduction in your case is, is one third. Having considered what would otherwise be the appropriate categorization of this case and the impact of the aggravating and mitigating features, including age and maturity, the appropriate sentence in minimum term, as I indicate, would be one of nine years' custody, allowing for your plea a minimum term of six years. As there is now no early release for terrorist offenders, that minimum term is the same as what was used to be called the determinate term. The days on remand, which I'm told number 367 days, will count towards that sentence. And so the sentence of this court is one of custody for life with a minimum of six years, less 367 days. What that means is this, that before you will be first considered for parole, there will be a period of six years, less 367 days. If the information which I've been provided as the days on remand proves to be inaccurate, then the prosecution or defence must notify the court so that the case can be relisted to correct that calculation as soon as possible and in any event within 56 days. When it comes to the minimum term that you will serve, I make plain that I am not ordering that you are to be released at the end of it. Whether you will be released or not at that stage or at any later stage will be a matter for the parole board to consider. Only when the minimum term has been served can the parole board decide whether it is safe to release you or not. If the board does release you, you remain on licence and liable to recall for the rest of your life. If the statutory surcharge applies to your case, then the appropriate orders can be drawn up. I order the forfeiture under Section 23 of the Terrorism Act 2000 of four items, RJB1, a mobile phone, RJB2, a laptop, RJB23, tactical combat gloves, and RJB20, tactical combat goggles. You will be subject to notification requirements as set out in the Counterterrorism Act 2008. You may go down.